so glad that you all can join us. So for today, we're going to be using Kahoot to play a few rounds of trivia on women in tech. Our top scores will win a premium membership to Women Tech Global Network. So that should be pretty exciting. So in order to join, we're going to be using Kahoot. And at the top here, you see our game pin. If you go to kahoot.it, you can enter in our game pin and enter your name in to join. And just a suggestion, if you haven't played Kahoot before, um, you might want to play on your phone just so you can so you can see your screen. You can also scan the um, the, the QR code, and Jenny just placed the the game pin in the chat. But still, you can absolutely play on a Mac. Um, but you, you, again, you might want to just play on your phone. Just my recommendation. But if you can split your screen and you, you want to join that way, it works just fine. Yep, and the link to join and game pin are in the chat. Again, it's Kahoot, K-A-H-O-O-T dot I-T. We're gonna have a lot of people going for that membership, Jenny. It's a great organization. I would want a premium membership too. All right, looks like we're ready to get started. If at any time new people wanna join, the game pin and link are in the chat there. All right, we'll get started. There's going to be about 10 questions in total team, and, and we'll, we'll have a little bit of facts for everything afterwards, too. Who, who is credited with reporting the first computer bug? Now, if you haven't played Kahoot before, it is also a game of speed. So if you know the answer, go for it. And if you don't know the answer, go for it. Uh, you never know if you're right, and we'll, we'll all learn a little bit together afterwards anyway. All right, it was Grace Hooper. And let's see, Jenna, I like the emoji. Jenna is up top so far. And just a little bit about Grace Hooper. Um, oh, uh, Grace. Hop, hop. What was that, Jenny? Grace Hopper, yeah. Hopper, thank you for correcting me. Um, it was actually, she, excuse me, the first computer bug was found in 1947. Oh, just a literal bug, <laughs> um, a, a moth. I actually, I didn't know that. Um, but but that said, it's the, the first computer bug. All right, let's keep on going and we'll see if we have a change up top. Which film celebrates three pioneering women in science who played an integral role in space programs at NASA? We'll see how many movie enthusiasts we have. All right, Hidden Figures, which is a wonderful movie if you haven't seen it. Jenna it has clearly seen it, followed by Lana and uh, Artemis. I couldn't quite see that one. Um, but Hidden Figures, great movie if you hadn't seen it. Now you have something to do with your weekend. Now, in addition to being a self-taught inventor, uh, Heidi Lamar, did I get that one right, Jenny, I, I hope, was best known for being a... Everyone wants that membership. They're going pretty quick. Film actor. Let's see. No change. Oh, we had quite a bit of a change. So Rachel Thompson. Uh, and I have not seen that. So maybe I have a few movies to watch this weekend too. Who developed the algorithm behind the spanning tree protocol or STP?
this is the one we're thinking on a little bit more, which is fair. All right. Let's see. Alexandra is leading the way now. Now, um, she was an American computer programmer and networking engineer. She invented this the STP that we just discussed, which was a fundamental which was fundamental to the operations of network bridges. So good to know there too. Okay, in 1965, Sister Mary Kenneth Keller was the first woman in the U.S. to get a Ph.D. in which subject? Jenny's helping us out with the picture just a little bit. Computer science. All right, not too much change up top. We'll see where we come out in the end. All right, so we're halfway through. Grace Cooper was the first woman to earn a PhD in mathematics from which university? I should have uh, known that one because I think that was actually in one of the ones we played we played internally at Intellidine recently. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let's see if Alexander can hold out to the end or if anyone's going to unseat her. Kimberly Bryant founded the nonprofit organization that provides technology education to young women in color. Was it Girls in Tech, Black Girls Code, Girls Who Code, or Teens in AI? Might want to look at that picture. Black Girls Code. All right, no change at all. All right, Lisa um, Gletpalter, I'm not sure if I got that one right as well, but she developed code that facilitated publishing videos online and the creation of which file format? JPEG, PDF, GIF, or MP3? GIF, which I think we all can appreciate in between work sessions. Hi, hey. Lamar invented a secret communication system that has inspired which technology commonly used today? Was it Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, or all of the above? Answers always come in rapid fire as that picture just starts uh, coming to life. All of the above. We have quite a bit to thank her for. Alexandra and I think it's J.I. and Aaron are rounding out our top three. And last one, which documentary is about the women in computing in World War II? Simone, you can't look at your phone. There is a membership on the line. Top secret Rosies. All right. Oh, well, there you go. Very nice, Simone. Okay, well, here's our first podium with eight out of 10, Jen, very impressive. And there is a tie with Aaron and number one was Alexandra. Um, I guess it, 
Alexandra, would you mind, I, I guess, putting your whole name in the chat? Is that what you need, Jenny? Just to, to so we can get in contact with her? Alexander, if you can hear me, you definitely want to put your name in the chat or, or say something in the chat just so Jenny can reach out to you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Thank you so much. And I think we have time for round two. So let's go to round two. Let's see here. So same deal. Or we got a little bit of a practice round. You're just going to want to put in the pin code. You might just want to refresh your screen, go to kahootit.it.com, uh, kahootit.it again, or you can just scan your QR code. All right, I think we have just about everybody in, but just in case, I'm gonna put the game pen in the chat for any reason if you'd like to join after we get started. All right, my Jameson was the first black woman to I think we all know what the answer is going to be now. <laughs> Go to space. Let's see. Savage on top. I like it. <laughs> Approximately what percentage of STEM jobs in the U.S. are held by women? Twenty, twenty five, forty, or sixty percent. Twenty five percent and rising every day. Okay, lots of change. Approximately how many visitors are expected to attend the Women Tech Global Conference in 2022? Is it 10,000, 50,000, 100,000, or half a million plus? Are you planning on going to the Women in Tech Global Conference this year? 100,000, quite the event. Okay, Caitlin, Jen is back, and so is J.I., so we'll, we'll see what happens in the end. Which company was founded by all women? Was it Tinder, Spotify, LG, and Bumble? I read an article about this one recently. Bumble. And I believe extra fun fact, I can't remember if it was Tinder or Twitter that she, she used to work at before she started Bumble. Caitlin, Jamie B, and J.I. It was Tinder. Thank you. Thank you for having my back in the chat. Alrighty, early in her career, what was Katherine Johnson's job at NASA? All right. 
right. Okay, we have a lot of frequent visitors up top. You have to be pretty good to be called the computer. Mm -hmm. Who is who? Who is who is this neurologist? Excuse me. TV enthusiasts would have this one too. Wow. Okay. And yes, I, I, yeah, everyone, I hope has seen Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Who was the first Latina astronaut? All right, Jen Anyo, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Jamie B. Savage is back as well. Which company was Kathy Engelbert the CEO of? Was it the Deloitte, Nvidia, General Motors, or Apple? Deloitte. I feel like Jen had a peak or something, or she's just really good. <laughs> and we didn't have too much change up top, so we'll see. I think we have how many questions left? We got a few more. On which date is the International Day of Women and Girls in Science held? Is it February 8th, 11th, 14th, or the 22nd? Very nice. Jen, Savage, and Heiss, a new visitor to the top three. Kate Bowman led the creation of a new algorithm that produced the first image of a Moran. Black hole. All right, let's see who won round two. Uh, I know if I'm pronouncing it properly. Savage with nine out of 10 and answering all of them correctly. Jen, and I agree the black hole probably was exciting as it's exciting that you won. <laughs> uh, if that's Jennifer Paul that, that won, and that's wonderful. Um, Jenny, I, I don't know. Um, I think it's we're closer to the end. Did you want to go for another round or, or, or will, we, will we come back tomorrow and have a little bit more fun then? All right, everyone, I can't quite hear Janae, so executive decision. I hope we had a little bit of fun to, to break up the excellent summit that I'm sure you're all experiencing today. Uh, please come back in and play with us again tomorrow. We'll, we'll see you there.